What's good, YouTube? I got a 2A inside the arc score for y'all today. I your big man built, but hit that like button and hit that sub button and turn on the post notice too. We gonna go center with this build and you wanna go 7-2. Take your weight down to 247. Rock out like that. And the wingspan, bruh. We gonna go 7-8. So you go right there. And we gonna go to the speed and acceleration. You do wanna put that on your big man build. I have tested it out, bruh. Big man builds with no speed and acceleration, bro. You will be slow as dirt, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. You do not want to do that. But max out your vertical or equal 65. And 65, you get the pro standing big man contact dunks. And you just need an 80 standard dunk with the 65, 65 vertical. For the elite big man standing contact dunks, though, you need the 75 vertical and the 90 standard dunk at least. But this is what we're going to rock out with right here because seven twos and seven threes, bro. You really just can't get the, well, seven threes, you can't get the uh, the 75 vertical. But we're going to go to the stamina and you're going to want to go 90. And when you add weight to your seven twos, bro, you see you just can't get the, uh, the 75 vertical. I think minimum weight seven three, you could get it though at 75 but 65 bro they good bro you, you feel me you're gonna see what we're gonna do with this build but we're gonna go right to the defense bro yeah we're gonna go to the defense and you're gonna want to go 86 on your interior defense nah not 86 my fault 88 so we're getting a gold brick wall and that is a great badge to have on bro especially if you're not trying to get it pushed out that paint that's gonna help you do more than just defend in the paint, bruh. So you want to go 88 on your uh, interior. Your steal rate in, we're going to go 60. Max out the block at 99. So you're going to be punching everything, bruh. 99 on your defensive rebound. Then we're going to go 76 right here on the offensive. So that's giving you 33 defensive badges. And, bruh, that's really the perfect amount. You could have more, but being a big man, bruh, of course you're going to want more. Like, <laughs> bruh, I'd love to have 65 defensive badges on the big man, bruh. Throw everything on Hall of Fame. But this is what we're going to rock out with right here. And on to your finishing, bruh. Yeah, we're going to go. Now nah, we're going to hit the shooting, bruh. Yeah, we're going to hit the shooting. So you want to go 83 on your mid range, your three ball. You want to go 75. So you go right there. And then your free throw, you want to put that at 70. So you go right there. So 22 shooting badges, bro. Yo, on a big man build, is really crazy, bro. It's stupid overpowering. And you're going to rep up on this build easily, bro. We're going we gonna to just make sure these numbers right down here. And, bro, yo, honestly, this build is similar to, to my uh, 7.3. But, bro, I really wish I would have made it like this, bro. I'm not even going to hold you because mine's, bro, bro, you just got way more shooting badges than I got on my 7.3, bro. And this is overpowered, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. We're going to go right to the finishing badges, though. And you even got more finishing badges than my build got. So I'm going to show y'all what to put these at. You're going to go 99 on your stamina. I said stamina. On your standing dunk. So you're going to be punching everything in the paint. Your close shot, you want to you wanna go 93 on that. Put that up. Driving layup. 52. And you want to go 63 on your driving dunk. So you go right there. Post control, 72. So you get in. Are we going 71? All right, I guess 70. Yeah, for a fact. So yeah, we're going to go 70 on a uh, post control. Rock out like that. And you get in 26 finishing badges. You got Hall of Fame Mouse in the House, Grace Under Pressure. And you got the Gold Hook Specialist badge. Bro, yo, 
you really got everything, bro. <laughs> like, look at your Hall of Fame uh, finishing badges, bro. You got the posterizer and rise up Hall of Fame. That's really crazy, bro. I'm naming out the good badges y'all got, bro. Just look at everything, <laughs> for real, for real. We gonna rock out like that though. 26, 22, and 33. That's really some heat right there. And on to your playmaking, bro. So we gonna get uh, 11 finishing, not finishing, playmaking badges. Bro, I really just can't talk right now. <laughs> we gonna go 76 on the pass accuracy. And that's gonna give you the silver needle threader. That will come in handy, bro. You could probably put up your stamina. You just go to 94. You could put up your strength if you want to, but you really just don't need to. Maybe go. Yeah, you can't even go there and get another badge. So this is what we're gonna rock out with. And we're gonna get into the takeover. So you got this sharp take, bro. You got a 7-2 big man, bro. You could throw up the sharp tape. That's crazy, but the uh, the pain intimidation tape, you honestly don't need your pain intimidation tape. So, I really I really would think the glass tape, bro, to see the future is a little more overpowered than the, uh, the pain intimidation tape, but... You really, you really want to have the, uh, yeah, bro, yo. Honestly, bro, I would go with the see the future first. And now that I think about it, yo, on my big man build, like, I don't run with my big man build often. It, nah, I can't even say not often, bro, because, yo, I'm repping up like crazy. And I really I play, bro, just every few days, I play a game or two on my, uh, 7-3 just to rep up like crazy, bro, and... And then just go play uh like on my guard and everything in game modes that you don't get get as much rep and everything like bruh it's <laughs> yo you definitely gonna wrap up crazy on this build but to see the future to go with that first that's that's really just gonna help you grab the boards that because bruh what people try to do to uh go against the the seven two seven threes they try to they try to think of a game plan, bro. And it's different teams use different uh, strategies and everything, but they definitely gonna try to get you up off the board. So you definitely might want to go to see the future take. It just seemed like it's more like you just don't need the pain intimidation take, but you can go with the spot up uh, precision if you shoot the ball like that. If you don't shoot the ball like that, you just go with the pain intimidation. At the same time, bro, you got 22 shooting badges, so you just really don't even need to go with the uh, sharp tape. You got a two-way inside out. I'm not a two-way inside out. Two-way inside the arc score. We're going to go with the badges. And you got limitless takeoff, fast twitch. We're going to put that on gold. Post spin. Unstrippable. Rise up Hall of Fame. Post riser Hall of Fame. Live City. To throw that at least on bronze depending on what you uh your play style and everything but i would throw on a hook specialist and mouse in the house onto your shooting badges and you got 22 of them things bronze blinders silver corner specialist bronze catch and shoot fade ace i would go gold on that because you definitely gonna be in that fading area hall of fame on the sniper Go high zone hunter, and I would throw on maybe bronze set shooter, bro. Just cause they, bro, they might, they might try to test you out there at the three. The only bills, honestly, bro, that I will put set shooter on is bills over seven feet. Really more seven twos and seven threes, cause people would know, bro. If you got a seven footer, they might know you can shoot. The seven threes, they, they might dare you to shoot. But onto the playmaking badges, you got bullet passer, dimer, post playmaker, needle threader, and you can go with the special delivery. You just don't need either one of those two, for real, for real. Onto your defensive badges, we gonna throw the brick brick wall on gold, interceptor on bronze, gold pogo, Hall of Fame rim. 
Hall of Fame rebound. Gold box. And you want to throw on your chase down, at least on gold. Intimidator. And after that, y'all probably would up a couple. That Hall of Fame box is crazy. And put worm on. And you good right there. But, bro, yo, that's really some heat right there. You see, you got a good amount of badges and fire defense, bro. You're not missing no stat. Of course, you don't got perimeter, bro. Bro, you don't need no perimeter on a 7 2, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Your offensive rebound is 76, but remember, you got that Hall of Fame rebound chaser and you still got that pogo. So, the Hall of Fame rebound chaser was pretty much going to be the most important for your. Uh, for your rebound so like you you know nobody bro if, if you if it's your offensive rebound and it's 76 bro that's gonna be going against somebody else's defensive rebound and if they don't got hall of fame then like if they if they don't got 99 rebound bro then they not gonna have the hall of fame rebound chaser and most people just don't got a hall of fame rebound chaser bro not even gonna lie so That'd be your 76 going against a maybe 91 uh, defensive rebound if they got a gold rebound chaser. But you would still have that Hall of Fame, bro. So your 76 would still be getting rebounds over that 91 because you got a higher badge. But I'm going to hit you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. Be easy.